Welcome to the Wealthy Bookshelf. Let us delve into Chapter 1, Acquiring Confidence Before an Audience, which addresses this fear directly. The author, Carnegie, puts forth the idea that true confidence is rooted in thorough preparation and a profound grasp of your subject matter. This serves to underscore the notion that when you are well-versed in your topic, fear has no place. Moving on to Chapter 2, The Sin of Monotony. In this section, Carnegie emphasizes the importance of varying speech patterns and tone. Monotony, he argues, is the enemy of engagement. By changing up our tones, we can keep our audience hooked and interested. In the third chapter, Efficiency Through Change of Pace, Carnegie explores the idea of controlling the tempo of our speech. A great speaker, he suggests, knows when to speed up to inject energy and when to slow down for emphasis. Chapter 4, Efficiency Through Emphasis and Subordination, delves into the power of emphasis. Carnegie advises us to highlight the key points in our speech and subordinate the less important information. This helps in creating a clear and impactful message. The fifth chapter, Influencing by Narration, highlights the power of storytelling. Carnegie believes that stories can make a message more relatable and memorable. He encourages us to weave narratives into our speeches to capture the audience's attention. Chapter six, Vibrating with the Audience, talks about connecting emotionally with our listeners. Carnegie teaches us that to truly engage an audience, we must tune into their emotions and reflect those feelings in our delivery. In Chapter 7, Influencing by Description, Carnegie explores the power of vivid language. He advises us to paint a picture with our words, making our message more engaging and easier to understand. The eighth chapter, Influencing by Persuasion, is all about convincing our audience. Carnegie shares techniques for building a strong argument and persuading listeners to see things from our perspective. Chapter 9, Influencing by Suggestion, delves into the subtle art of suggestion. Carnegie teaches us how to plant ideas in the minds of our audience, subtly guiding them to our way of thinking. The final chapter, Stimulating Enthusiasm, is about igniting passion. Carnegie believes that a speaker's enthusiasm can be infectious, inspiring listeners and leaving a lasting impression. So, there you have it. The essence of Dale Carnegie's The Art of Public Speaking. From gaining confidence and avoiding monotony, to effective storytelling and stimulating enthusiasm, this book provides a comprehensive guide to mastering the art of public speaking. Remember, public speaking is not just about delivering a message, but about making that message impactful, engaging, and memorable. Embrace these techniques and transform your public speaking skills. Voice over. And that's it for our summary of Dale Carnegie's The Art of Public Speaking. We hope you found this overview insightful and the techniques we've discussed useful for your own public speaking journey. Remember, the key to mastering public speaking is continuous practice and improvement. Implement these techniques in your own speeches, reflect on what works and what doesn't, and keep honing your skills. But the learning doesn't stop here. We're dedicated to bringing you more content like this to help you grow in your professional and personal life. So, if you found this video helpful and want to explore more topics, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support helps us create more content and reach more people. Thank you for watching and for being a part of our learning community. We appreciate your time and engagement. Don't forget to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, keep practicing, keep improving, and remember, every great speaker was once a beginner.